The summit this week between President Donald Trump and Russian President Vladimir Putin meant the president took some hits. President Trump was criticized by lawmakers from both sides of the aisle for seemingly siding with the Russian leader over U.S. intelligence officials. Remarks that President Trump later walked back. He also said the summit was a success and had gone even better than a meeting with NATO allies last week. And President Trump has invited the Russian president to the White House this fall. Where does this leave us? That's what I asked Russian expert and Pulitzer Prize winning author William Topman. It leaves us in a mess. Uh, I think there are two related but separable issues here. One is the history of U.S.-Russian relations, which has brought us to the point where tensions are so high. And we need to talk to them. We need to find common ground where it exists. And actually, President Trump is right about that. But his own behavior has made it more difficult for us to have this kind of conversation with the Russians. Because by the time he ends up unable to criticize Putin, preferring Putin's views to his own intelligence agencies, there's an uproar in this country. Uh, and people don't want there to be summits if, if Trump is going to behave in this way. Is it, a, is it a, a matter of President Trump sort of dialing back some of the, the bluster, I think you could say? Uh, or, or how do you get to that point that you're saying the tension? Frankly, I am not very hopeful that this can happen because I don't think Trump is capable of dialing back his own emotions, his own instincts, his own pattern of behavior. I mean, that's been what we've seen all along. He just cannot seem to change. And even when he changes, as he's done this week, and says, no, I really meant that, a few hours pass, and it looks as if he's returning to the point that he said he didn't take. There was a report on NPR, I think it was this morning, that looked at the fact that President Trump has said, you know, I've, had a, I've held a particularly hard line when it comes to Russia, and the NPR report found, in fact, he has. The sanctions have been quite stringent. Uh, but then, to your point, some of this other... Um, dialogue coming from the president gets in the way of that. Is that the way you see it? Well, yes. I mean, the sanctions do exist and they do bite and Putin is very unhappy with them. But they're outweighed in the mind of the public by all of the bluster and, and all of the praise of Putin and, and the, the inability to criticize him. Let's look at some of the things that have been reportedly discussed at the summit, four things in particular, terrorism, Israeli security, nuclear proliferation, and North Korea. Were those the items that you thought that these two world leaders should be discussing? No, not necessarily. I would have focused on arms control first. The New START agreement expires in 2021. Which was established under President Obama. Yes, and it needs, it needs to be renewed, and it's important that it be renewed. I'm not clear about whether they talked about that and whether, if so, whether they accomplished anything. Syria, uh, we need to talk to the Russians about how to dial down the violence in Syria and move beyond that. Uh, did they talk about that? If so, what did they agree upon? If anything, we don't really know. Um, I think it would be helpful also to talk about the fact that both countries have contributed to the tensions that exist that's something that gets lost in all of this because the Russians say it's all your fault and Trump says it's both our faults, but he never talks about Putin's fault. What do we know? What does history tell us? You've, you're steeped in the history of Russia about what is said publicly by U.S. and Russian leaders and what may be discussed privately. Can you give an example of maybe when there's been a difference in history? Do we have one? Well, I mean, the first thing to say is that what is usually discussed in private between the leaders is not publicized. And um, there is usually somebody there from both sides taking notes. So there's a record and there's an interpreter translating who takes notes. But we've now gotten to the point where some of the Democrats in Congress are demanding that the interpreter in the Helsinki summit be subpoenaed and her notes be subpoenaed. And this is crazy. This doesn't happen. I mean, these conversations are supposed to be confidential, known only to the leaders and to their governments. What's crazy about this situation is that our government doesn't seem to know Meaning what Trump has said. President Trump isn't sharing with his he even top advisors. And I, we, we saw possibly a hint of that when uh, this week uh, Dan Coats was told about the upcoming meeting between President Trump and President Putin at the White House at a summit in Aspen where he was sitting there. Is this something that's usually talked about with your advisors before you, it would become public? Absolutely. I mean, 
President Reagan, who was known for being somebody who didn't like to delve into details, had endless seminars before he met with President Gorbachev. He rehearsed with the American ambassador to the Soviet Union. Trump seems to think he can just wing it, make it up as it goes, not inform his own people. We need professionals. We have professionals. We have diplomats who are very, who are very experienced with this sort of thing. And I think one of the most important things Trump could do at this point would be to turn over more of it, at least the preparations, to his professional advisors and take their advice. The, the last time that, that I understand it that um, uh, oh, President Putin came to the White House was during the George W. Bush administration back in 2001. Do we know why he hasn't been invited back to the actual physical White House since then? Well, because three presidents are in a row have started out to try to talk to Putin and to work with him. And by the time they were finished, relations were worse than when they began. Clinton, Bush, Obama. So relations have just been so bad under Bush after that initial meeting and under Obama, under Obama after his attempt at a reset that, there's, that nobody has thought it would be very, useful, be very useful to invite Putin to the White House. And so is there a certain significance of inviting a world leader to the actual White House? Certainly, uh, we meet with world powers often that we have tensions with or disagree with, but elsewhere. Russian leaders in particular crave respect from the American president. They crave invitations to Washington and to the White House. They glory in taking part in talks there and in state dinners. It's a big, big deal for them. So apart from whatever happens at this next summit in Washington, the very fact that Putin is going to be there and be televised there and be celebrated there by his own propaganda, if nothing else, is just what he wants. The shared U.S.-Russia investigation that President Putin proposed during the summit, which President Trump initially sort of seemed to be warm to the idea and then came back and said he wasn't, what does Russia stand to gain from that type of thing? You mean the, the shared investigations of these two? Um, Where President Putin suggested that 12, US, yes, 12 Russian yes. uh, folks who were indicted this week could be spoken with. To, to people who are professionals, experts on the Soviet Union and now Russia, this seemed mad because even if we were to send lawyers and investigators for special counsel Mueller to Moscow to talk to these Russian intelligence agents, they'd get nowhere because the agents would refuse to tell them anything of value, especially sitting in a room with Soviet secret policemen. But when President Trump said this is an incredible offer, I could just imagine experts within the American government and especially the intelligence agencies going, what? <laughs> What did he just say? This is an incredible offer, not in the sense that it's wonderful, but in the sense that it's ridiculous. <laughs>